Here in Metro Detroit, interfaith leaders are praying for peace together. Today they held a prayer vigil on the city's west side. And 7 Action News reporter Faraz Javid was there and he brings us their message. I'm here at Martin Luther King Jr. Park in Detroit and right behind me you can see a prayer vigil in progress attended by Jews, Muslims and Christians praying for much needed peace as the Israel Hamas war intensifies. We expect peace on the international shores of Palestine and Israel. We can expect peace in our communities. Metro Detroit is home to the largest population of Palestinians and Arab Americans in the country, along with a sizable Jewish community. Imam Mikhail Stewart Sadiq says being empathetic towards each other is one way to achieve peace. Make sure that we are not giving labels to people that dehumanize them. Rabbi Dorit Edut believes the only way forward is to stop the hatred on both sides. What's, what's happening in the situation in Israel and Palestine, when you look at that, how does it make you feel? Horrible, horrible, horrible. Yes, there is a matter of defending yourself when you're attacked, but I also don't believe that the spread of war is the ultimate way to resolve things. Reverend Charles Williams II says politicians and world leaders also need to step up and work together to de-escalate the situation. No more harmless people being hurt. No more aid left off uh, and left away from people who need it. Since October 7th, over 1,400 Israelis and more than 8,000 Palestinians have been killed. The United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees says as Israeli forces expand ground invasion in Gaza to hunt down Hamas fighters and rescue hostages, the humanitarian crisis is reaching unprecedented levels. We are talking uh, about uh, 1.4 million people who've been displaced from their homes. Uh, some 600,000 of those people are in UNRWA shelters right now. Mara Kronenfeld, who works for the UN agency, says without a ceasefire, getting the much needed aid in Gaza will continue to be a challenge. Now on WXYZ.com, you can find a list of organizations accepting donations for both Israeli and Palestinian civilians impacted by the war. Reporting for 7 Action News, I'm Faraz Javid.